this is a joke. This is a jo it's an absolute joke. It's a it's beyond a joke, and it would be it would be funny if it wasn't so horrifying. Hello everyone, this is an update video about our recent turkey farm investigation. Now, what we've done is we've gone ahead and sent a bunch of emails out to supermarkets and Red Tractor to see what they're gonna do about our turkey investigation. If anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, on December 22nd, we released a massive investigation into Avara Foods. Avara supplies many leading supermarkets, including Tesco, Asda, Little, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, McDonald's, KFC, and Nando's. Now this can be chicken or turkey. When it comes to turkeys, it's mostly uh, Tesco, Asda, and and Sainsbury's. The investigation was conducted between November and December of this year and we managed to film the turkey catchers uh, taking the birds to slaughter. We uncovered many different kinds of abuses, uh, horrible welfare conditions on the farm, dirty, dirty uh, birds, feces everywhere, injured birds, pecking injuries and also the farmers and catchers themselves abusing the animals. First of all, I wanna say thank you to everyone who shared that investigation. It's done quite well. We've received over 800,000 views in the, the first week, which is fantastic. We've also seen a lot of pressure being applied to some supermarkets and Red Tractor and Avara on, online, which is fantastic. It's great to see so many people care about this issue. So what we did is we emailed uh, the supermarkets and Red Tractor to get a formal response from them. We didn't email Avara because I don't, really care to know what their response is. They're consistently exposed. What we were interested in is what is being done about it from Red Tractor and the supermarkets. And I think you'll be very interested to hear their responses. And we're gonna go through what they said, give them their, their right to respond. And I'm gonna tell you what my thoughts are on their responses. There has been what looks, appears like some kind of action taken, but it's really hard to know what this means because you've got to take the industry's word for a pinch of salt. So Red Tractor actually responded on the YouTube video itself. Now I actually put Red Tractor's email out there for everyone to, to reach out to Red Tractor to see what they would do. And they responded by saying, the evidence we have reviewed so far gives cause for concern about how birds are being managed and handled and about the training and management of staff. We immediately suspended the farm and the catching team concerned. Our investigation is ongoing. They reiterated that response in my email to them. So my email to them read, uh, Red Tractor was seeking a formal response to the investigation we conducted. I told them the exact location and their dates that we did it. Uh, we told them what we found there, including birds still moving for up to three minutes due to suspected improper euthanasia. Catchers kicking birds, extremely rough hand handling, farm workers hitting birds with brooms, just dead and dying birds. Then we asked them further questions because what they're saying here is uh, we're concerned about the training and management of the staff and the, the way the birds are being handled. But what about the general welfare of the birds on the farm and, and what are you actually doing? They said their investigation is ongoing, but what do you what does that mean? I asked them these the, the following questions. What action has been taken against the farm location? What will Red Tractor do to ensure this is not repeated? If the farm and catches have been suspended, is this temporary? And will Red Tractor recertify the farm after it is satisfied it is back up to the Red Tractor standard? When Red Tractor say it, the farm is suspended, that doesn't tell me it's terminated or they're not gonna, they're, they're gonna stop working with them or anything like that. That just tells me there's a temporary hold put on this farm until they investigate further. We've already done the investigation for you. We've set up cameras, we've shown you what they're doing. What are you gonna do about it? Now, the reason I'm asking whether or not they'll recertify it is because they consistently recertify horror farms. Red Tractor only inspect these farms once a year. And there was a Times investigation where only one in 1,000 farms that uh, Red Tractor do their in inspections on, they arrive unannounced. How's that? One in 1,000, that's crazy. I wonder if that's still the case. Because when we arrived to this red tractor farm, um, it, was, it was random. It was random. We randomly popped our head in, had a look, and then once we saw what we saw, we conducted a full investigation. Well, it's standard. So like, I guess you go into any turkey factory farm, you're gonna see the same thing. But we thought we'd, we'd go a little, dig, dig a little deeper and see if, if they're leaving birds just like that in that kind of welfare, they're probably mistreating them too. And lo and behold, you know, what we suspected was true. Other than the handling of the birds, Red Tractor, what is Red Tractor's position on the condition of the farm and the general welfare of the birds? Okay, so the reason I'm asking this question, because they only mentioned in their response, we're concerned about how the bir birds are being managed and handled and the, the training and management of the staff. But what about <laughs> the birds pecking each other in, in confinement and feces everywhere and just birds left there to die and be pecked to death and infected? And I'm not gonna show you the images, they're terrible enough. You can see it in our investigation, um, I'll link below. No mention of that, no mention of that. Is that fine? So if they, if, if they don't mention it and they omit that, what does that say? 
Well, I'll leave that to you. Now, now this is this is an interesting one because I asked them, have the supermarkets that receive turkeys from this Avara location been notified about the red tractor suspension? Because these su supermarkets tend to need red tractor certification as a minimum in order to sell the flesh and dairy and stuff from their locations. I know this is true for me. So. Did you notify the supermarkets that, that, that you've suspended one of these horror locations? Based on that question, I wanna know if the supermarket's still receiving turkeys from this location. Another question, will our investigation open up a deeper investigation into the farm? If so, what will this entail? You're saying you're gonna investigate, how? How are you gonna investigate? You have to catch these people when they're not ready, right? And Red Tractor do not do that. We do that. Uh, other organizations do that, but Red Tractor do not do that. You're the one certifying and putting your name behind it. Why is it up to us to do the investigations for you? You know why? Because it's all smoke and mirrors. They just don't want to know about it and they don't want bad PR. And another thing, they didn't ask for any more footage. We've got over 200 uh, gigabytes of raw footage. We've got the full catching footage, all unblurred. All the catching footage was terrible. All of it was terrible. We were like, what do we choose here? It's, it's just like, we'll just cut it down. Basically, we could have taken any section of the, the, the catching footage. It, it was like it was standard operation there. Like what I mentioned in, in our investigation video is that the, the way these, these crates are set up and these birds are heavy, the catchers almost have no choice but to mistreat them in order to do their job efficiently. What I'm trying to say is that the standard way they catch these turkeys is always going to entail cruelty. This is another question. Will Red Tractor continue to assure other Avara, Avara farm locations because we're seeing a consistency. I'll show you the consistency with Avara shortly because I'm not the only one who's investigated them, okay? Fantastic organizations around the UK have also investigated and exposed them. I'm gonna go through them in a sec. But will Red Tractor continue to assure other of our farm locations? Question, unanswered. Of course they will. Of course they will. Of course they will, because this is not out of the ordinary. This is just normal farming stuff. Is Red Tractor concerned about the nature of the systemic abuse that continues to be uncovered at farms at Assures? Will Red Tractor make a public statement addressing this investigation? I guess this is their public statement. We immediately suspended the farm and catching team and our investigation is ongoing. Okay, well, our investigation is completed. I think you have enough evidence there. They haven't asked me for any further evidence. And Red Tractor have a track record of um, putting out a PR spiel and then just reassuring farms and recertifying farms. And um, I, don't, I don't know what, what, what further action will be taken other than a suspension. Will the catching team who go around to different farms be allowed to, to, to continue to do this at different farm locations. Not much is being said. So I asked them very direct questions here. They've avoided most of them and just given uh, you know this one quote. If you want information on Red Tractor, just go to Viva's website. Web, uh, Viva have exposed Red Tractor consistently and done a lot of investigations into Red Tractor. Reading from their website says, Red Tractor is the largest food assurance scheme in Britain that supposedly prom promotes and regulates food quality. It is managed by the limited company Assured Food Standards, which is owned and funded by the British farming and food industry. So it's owned and funded by British farmers. That's interesting. How can you in expect farmers to police themselves? That's like saying, oh, you know, the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, is owned and funded by drug dealers. So they investigate themselves. So there's nothing to see here, guys. It's, it's, really, it's really corrupt in my, in my opinion. So in other words, Red Tractor is funded by farmers to promote their own product and consequently has a complete lack of independent scrutiny. This Red Tractor uh, group, they put logos on their own products, right? Funded by British farmers to promote British meat. It's very concerning. What the customer is not told is that Red Tractor pr products only go very slightly beyond the bare minimum legal standards in order to receive the label. When I asked the question, will Red Tractor recertify the farm after it's satisfied it's backed up, back up to the Red Tractor standard? Just know that the Red Tractor standard is only slightly above the bare minimum legal standard, which is incredibly low. Interestingly, on our Red, Red Tractor's website, it says, all staff working on Red Tractor certified farms must be trained and demonstrably competent to carry out their job. I mean, monstrably, maybe. Monsters, maybe. Like, all I've seen were just, was just callous, cold-hearted, treatment of animals who are like sacks of potatoes to them. I don't see Red Tractor completely terminating them, completely firing these people from ever working with animals again, getting the police involved for animal abuse. I don't see any of that. Where are the police? They're abusing these animals. If it's done in the food industry, it's okay. Now, demonstrably competent. If, if that's your right, you've certified this farm for how long? How long have they continuously certified this farm and all other Avara farms? Why don't you do a, a complete internal investigation on Avara Foods and go to all of their farms unannounced like we do. I, you, you can't do that. You can't step foot on their farm without their permission, without notifying them first. That's like a police officer saying, hey, uh, hey man, uh, I know you deal drugs and that, but uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna come raid your house in 20 minutes or two, two weeks. We're gonna come raid your house. Just make sure, uh, yeah, I'm just letting you know. All right, I'm just gonna get all the drugs out of my house. 
this is a joke. This is a jo it's an absolute joke. It's a it's beyond a joke, and it would be it would be funny if it wasn't so horrifying. Let's go through the supermarkets here. So we'll start off with Asda. So what I sent to the supermarkets is very similar to what I sent to Red Tractor. I basically said, uh, as Avara Foods is known to supply Asda with turkey and other poultry, what action will be taken against the farm? Will Asda continue to use Avara Foods as a turkey and poultry supplier? Generally, all right? Because once you uncover a bunch of stuff about you know, a certain company, you surely don't want anything to do with that company. So that's, what, that's one question I asked them. So whether or not it was their farm location, Will you continue to use Avara Foods generally as a supplier? All right, important question. Is as, as the concerned, as the Sainsbury's Tesco concerned with the, about the nature of the systemic abuse that continues to be uncovered at the Red Tractor Assured Farms it receives products from? Important one, because these aren't isolated. All right, this is consistent. Will Asda make a public statement addressing this investigation? We gave them the right to reply. The senior press officer said, thank you for your email. I can confirm that this site does not supply Asda. Many thanks. So basically they're saying that this particular location doesn't supply Asda, but other Avara Foods locations do. We can assume that, okay? And, and they, they're not going to do anything further. It's just like, hey, like, yeah, we do we do receive uh, poultry from Avara. Basically, this doesn't concern us because that's not our particular site. But the catchers? What about the catchers? The catchers go around to different sites. Aren't you concerned about the catchers abusing turkeys that go to Asda? What, have you checked into that or you're not gonna look into it? This, this is just the dismissal they have for this, the disregard dismissal they have for this. Oh, it's not our site, that site. Well, how many sites does Avara have? Hundreds. So let's just look at their map here. Their farms cover most of, the, most of England, uh, where, the, where their farms are. So Asda's response is, um, this site does not supply Asda. No concern, nothing, uh, no, no answers to any of the other questions. I'm gonna show you the other supermarket responses, which are very, very interesting. And then we're going to show you a little bit of consistency with Avara Foods and the, what the supermarkets and Red Tractor have said in the past. Because in the last five years, there's been many investigations and you know the same back and forth. Let's go to now Sainsbury's. So we sent the same email to Sainsbury's and their response was, thank you for your email regarding your recent investigation into Sandy Bank Farm. I would like to assure you that we are urgently investigating these allegations and are in close contact with Avara about the actions it has taken with this site. Animal welfare is something we take extremely seriously and all of our suppliers are expected to meet the high standards that our customers would expect. As well as stocking more RSPCA assured products than any other supermarket, we're working with our development group farmers to share best practice on animal health and welfare across our supply chain. Hope you have been reassured that we take these matters very seriously from the executive office at Sainsbury's. Now, I, I actually haven't been assured here, um, and I don't know if anyone watching has too. Avara won't take many actions at all about this. Um, this Avara Foods are a business, and they're just gonna tell that, like Sainsbury's are a customer of Avara's, and I don't see anything uh, happening here. Maybe, uh, maybe, oh, don't do that in front of the cameras. I, I, don't, I don't know, you can imagine though, like, Avara Foods are a massive company just there to make money off the animals. And, and, and same with Sainsbury's, but just remember Sainsbury's just supply what people demand. So what I wanna know is uh, when, when they in investigate it, will they completely disown Avara? What I wanna know is will Sainsbury's continue to receive turkey, chicken, and ducks from an incompetent um, animal abuse company? I'm not satisfied or reassured uh, how seriously they will take these matters. If Sainsbury's actually cared about what happened in the background, they would never put their trust into people who were there to make money off of animals and instead would become a completely vegan business, which they won't because there's always gonna be a demand. But yeah, I don't trust RSPCA Assured products. Why would we? For what reason would we trust any other farm assurance scheme? I mean, they've given us no reason to trust them other than isolated little pristine little videos that they make to keep the public nullified. But at least Sainsbury's responded, even though it was vague. Tesco, so Tesco is the biggest customer of Avara Foods, right? And this is uh, pretty well documented, whether that's just for chicken, but they do take turkey from Avara Foods as well. What did Tesco say? Oh, I'm looking through my emails here, no response. No response from Tesco. That's interesting considering you're Avara's biggest customer. Wouldn't Tesco be like completely shocked by this? And doesn't this harm Tesco's reputation? 
Because they didn't respond to anything I said, do we assume that this location does supply a Tesco? I mean, uh, Sainsbury's have uh, essentially admitted this, this location does supply them, but Tesco, no response at all. So do we assume they do uh, get supplied by this actual location and they're just not gonna say anything about it? They're just gonna sweep it under the rug? I mean, that's what I would assume by a non-response. We gave, we, we contacted their media team. We gave them a deadline to respond to. Everyone else has responded except for Tesco. Well, so Tesco don't have a media team that look at these emails when one of their biggest suppliers of poultry have been abusing animals, they get an email, they get hundreds of comments on their social media and they're not gonna respond. So what do we assume by that? That they're okay with it? That yes, they, they do get supplied to by Sandy Bank Farm, they're not gonna do nothing about it? What are we supposed to assume? Let's just have a look at the other investigations that have been conducted. Red Tractor drops a parent turkey farm following Viva investigation. This is the one where they were using brutally killing birds with an inhumane neck crushing device. Basically hidden cameras documented that. Severe injuries, more birds that look exactly like the birds. Pecking injuries, more uh, infected birds, infected snoods. The same kind of stuff. And this is an Avara farm? Yeah, this is interesting. So Sainsbury's responded to this one back in 2019. The welfare of our animals is extremely important and we, we are investigating this report with our supplier. That's interesting, because that's what they said with us. Why are you still being supplied by these people in 2023? It is another one, 2020, um, that Viva did to a Avara turkey farming. And th this is where they uncovered um, three turkey farms, East Farm, Norfolk, and two Gloucestershire-based farms. Um, Clearwell and, and Strawberry Hill, we found shocking scenes of suffering, abject animal cruelty, all for the sake of Christmas dinner. And these were, um, as two of the UK's biggest food, uh, food producers, Gressingham and Avara Foods supply a household name such as Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, Morrison and Ocado. Very interesting. Exactly the same stuff. Red Tractor res uh, responded by saying, protecting animal health and welfare is one of our top priorities. Interesting. As, as soon as we were made aware of the footage, we launched an immediate investigation. Corrective action was immediately taken on the workers identified in the film. We, we've also got investigations from Surge, uh, Grove Smith Turkeys, Animal Equality also uh, investigated Avara's Grove Smith, and I visited Avara Turkey Farm last year. Okay, we didn't release the actual location of that turkey farm, we made it more general, but it wasn't Avara Turkey Farm. If, if, if they ever wanna find out which, which site it was because they contest this, I can give them the location. But we made this more general about turkeys uh, for 2021. Also went to a, a, a farm in 2020, which was Avara as well. This is not the first time Avara has been exposed. This is not just about Avara, but all factory farmers, they all abuse the animals. They all abuse the animals in, in one way or another, whether it's through the, the, the environment they're forced to live in, through the bodies they're born into. It's all filled with suffering. But just in the last five years alone, we've got half a dozen um, massive exposés, media, um, same responses, nothing done. Why are Sainsbury's in 2023, Tesco in 2023, Asda in 2023, still using Avara Foods as a supplier? Why is that? You know what I'm saying? As they didn't say, we don't get any any birds from from Avara Foods can, because of the uh, you know last five years. They just said we don't get it for that site. Tesco no response, so we can you know make our own assumptions in our head about that. Sainsbury's oh whoops uh, yeah this is also very bad, you know and and then, and Red Tractor saying they're investigating and, and they've suspended the farm. I don't think we should pat anyone on the back for suspending a farm that is a complete horror farm. You don't get like a thumbs up for that. That's expected of you. And why did you certify them to begin with? And why aren't you doing your own independent investigations into these places? And why is it only us that rock up unannounced and not you? They're questions I wanna know. What can be done about this? Obviously, the nature of factory farming is inherently cruel. There's also always gonna be abuse. Free range as well. Whenever you're mass producing animals for profit, there's always gonna be abuse. Wherever there's animal use, there is abuse. There's abuse by the workers because they're trying to be efficient. There is a uh, suffering involved, there's pecking injuries, there's infections, and there's too many birds for the farmers to look out for each of their individual welfare, and they all go to get decapitated and their rights are violated anyway, all right? So what can we do? What can people go, oh, should we just boycott Tesco completely? Well, if you boycott Tesco, if Avara lose Tesco as the biggest customer, they'll just go to Sainsbury's, they'll just go to Asda, you know what I'm saying? Tesco didn't even respond anyway, so they're not gonna do nothing. So what can we do? Well, when you go into Tesco, this is what you can do. You can take your money out of animal products because you can't trust the logos. You can't trust that they're, they're looking out for these animals. They're, they've been exposed constantly and all they do is put up nice propaganda. If you go into a clothes store, they'll have a nice model. They're trying to advertise the clothes, aren't they? So when you go into a, to a food store, 
They're trying to advertise the food, aren't they? And what do people care about? I hope, I hope these birds aren't dirty. I hope they're not being treated cruelly. So they put, put up a nice little green grass, green pastures, you know, nice happy birds, nice happy cows. That's what they do. So they're trying to market it to you. They're trying to sell you a product. Just remember that. So when you're in the supermarket and you go, oh, that's red tractor turkey, or that's a free range turkey, that's an RSPCA assured turkey, I can't trust what's happened down the line. And actually, I don't think turkeys deserve to be decapitated for me. So what am I gonna do? Should I try to find one that's not a vara? Or how do you trust the next company? How do you trust two sisters? How do you trust whichever company it is? They're all getting exposed constantly. What you do is you go to the plant-based food section. You get the fruits, you get the vegetables, you get the beans, get the nuts, get the seeds, get the lentils. You go to the plant-based meat section. Um, my friend Derek Sano, he does great work innovating vegan food for Tesco. So he's trying to change it from within. So it's not about completely boycotting a company because Tesco will continue to, to supply what the consumers demand. So really, the blood is on the hand of the consumer. If no one demanded that Avara abuse turkeys and then get to sell them to Tesco, Tesco wouldn't sell it. Why would they sell it? Tesco are delivering what the customer wants. Customer want a roast turkey for Christmas, they'll deliver it. And, and, and if the customer goes, that that's disgusting, I'm gonna go get some plant-based food, Tesco will supply more plant-based food, which is what they're doing now anyway. So you've gotta not only just remove your demand, but redirect your demand, all right? And that's what we can do. That's where our power is. Show this footage to people and get them to redirect their demand too. Because we can work with these big companies to try to get them to, because everyone's gonna go into these supermarkets no matter what. Um, we can redirect uh, the support from the animal-based products to the plant-based products. And that's one thing we can do. We can continue to put pressure on these uh, companies. We'll continue to expose these farms and just continue to keep it in the public consciousness about this consistent, abhorrent abuse that happens to animals as a standard in order to mass uh, produce animal products. And even if you were going to go to these uh, little free range uh, producers, they're decapitating sentient beings, intelligent, inquisitive, sentient beings who don't want to die. And you're decapitating them so you can have a five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute meal, which is injustice, it's, it's, it's wrong. So these animals need fundamental legal rights and we need to protect them from these mass producers who are enslaving these animals and then selling you a lie. So be vegan, remove your support, redirect your support. Don't trust this advertising, share this footage around. Thank you to everyone who shared so far. We're just gonna to continue to investigate and expose until there is some actual action taken. And I don't think any real change is gonna happen until people change their demand. People be vegan um, en masse. Yeah, because right now they're gonna keep selling it. The, the supermarkets are gonna keep using these suppliers because they know, the supermarkets know that all the farms are basically the same. And, and that's that. And while the consumer wants turkey, they'll sell the turkey. They're business people. So just think of that. That's the responses from the supermarkets. That's the responses from Red Tractor. What do you think about this down below? Do you think any action will be taken? I highly doubt it. We'll reach back out to them in a month and see what actually took place. They haven't asked me for any further information. And yeah, so the power is actually in your hands at home. Activists, vegans, meat eaters, please stop supporting them. And together we can make the world a better place for animals. Thank you.